Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. We're gonna to talk about how a man bonds with a woman. But really quickly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please do me a favor and click the subscribe button where it's ever it's at, and click the bell as well so you can get notified of new videos. I do three to four a week, and I provide a lot of content. So I hope you're happy with what I have, and. Let's jump into how a man bonds with a woman. Okay, um, one of the reasons why I became a dating relationship coach for women, quite frankly, is I felt like from a dating perspective, women didn't seem to understand me. Um, and quite frankly, I don't think I understood woman. It's woman, women. <laughs> In fact, it's one of the reasons why, if you don't know my story really quickly, um, I literally was a serial dater. I was actively dating, I mean, constantly, one after another, after another, after another. In fact, my first year out of my divorce, I had over a hundred, hundred <laughs> uh, internet dates. And I would meet a great woman, something would happen, it'd be, you know, I'd meet a great woman, great date, but something wasn't right. Another woman, great date, great woman, something wasn't right, over and over. And then those hundred dates, I realized what wasn't right was me. So I began doing a deep dive into personal development, self-help and spiritual work after the movie The Secret came out. The Secret just totally lit me up and said, God, this resonated with me. And I started to do work on myself. And as I began to do work on myself, I, I started to study human behavior. In fact, um, to this point, I think, um, I mean, I've, I've studied, I mean, so many of the m most amazing authors out there, Harville Hendricks, John Gottman, um, Michael Singer, Marianne Williamson, just to name a few, Brene Brown, Esther Perel. I just started studying human behavior. And what was interesting is women were gravitating towards me for my advice because when I began my coaching practice, it was centered around helping women understand men. In fact, my first book is called understand men now just like my youtube channel understand men now the relationships men commit to and why and in a moment i'm going to talk about how men bond with women by why why i'm giving you a bit of backstory is i've done a lot of studying on human behavior i've amassed over 20,000 hours of actual coaching on the phone i've been through the hoffman process insight mankind project just to name the few and again i've read read so many different books and watched so many different videos and it seems like there's a common thread with those men and women who are in a happy relationship there's a common thread for those women and men who are in a happy relationship. In fact, one of the things you'll find is most people that are in a really healthy, delicious, happy relationship, most of the time it's relatively easy. They're, in fact, those people aren't watching these videos because they're not frustrated in relationship. And if you watch any of my other videos, I go into a much deeper dive of why there's so much friction and complication in relationships. But relatively, or for those who are in a happy relationship, relatively easy. In fact, what's interesting is my parents, that's my mom and dad right there, uh, when they were uh, just, just newly married, and they were married 66 years before my mother passed away. They were having a dinner party one night, and I remember asking, um, there was two other couples, my mom and dad and these two other couples, and I said, what's the secret to relationship success? What's the secret to relationship success? And the first couple said, um, never go to bed mad. In fact, what was interesting is they both said it at the same time. I go, God, I love that. And what I think they really meant was good, healthy conflict resolution skills. It's not about being right, it's about being happy. So don't get a bad man. Number, the second couple said, marry your best friend. Marry your best friend. And what I think they really meant is not literally your best friend, but your relationship should be cultivated into being best friends with one another. And then my mother and father, I asked them the question and my father said, you know, when I asked my father, I said, what's the secret of relationship success? And he says, um, your mother understanding that I'm always right. <laughs> and I go, wow, dad, that's really interesting. And I turned to my mom and I said, what's the secret to relationship success? And she said, having your father always believe he was right. <laughs> If anything, my mother was the container of the relationship and she drove the bus 
when it came to the relationship, the emotional container of the relationship. And my father handled the physical container of their relationship. So my mother was the emotional container, my father was the physical container. In fact, it's actually one of the reasons why, you know, we, we know that men are uh, predominantly emotionally provider protectors, it's because we operate in the physical world and women operate more on the emotional world. Which leans me to help you right now understand how my, my father bonded with my mother. How did my father bond with my mother? How does a man bond with a woman on an emotional level? Well, let's go back to that second couple that said, marry your best friend. And what I've come to realize is that genuine friendship with romance, with kissing, with sex, with intimacy and whatnot, but genuine friendship is how we eventually bond with someone. When we feel safe enough to be vulnerable with this person, much like our friend, those are the people we bond with. And I'm gonna give you a simple tip right now to help you understand how men bond with women. And when I say simple tip, is that men, remember I said we're physical, right? We're, 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 that, we're in that physical world, not emotional. So we tend to bond with women through social activities, hobbies, mutual interests, social activities, hobbies, mutual interests, sometimes with through our family and friends, and obviously, or ultimately, intimacy as well, sexual intimacy. That's how we bond. We bond from a friendship level by doing those social activities, hobbies, and interests together. So my invitation for you, ladies, is not always wait for the man to be the driver of the bus of the relationship, but you be the container to initiate, or at least invite him, to do social activities together, hobbies, start up. I, I remember one woman I dated, she loved to play gin rummy. So she would bring a deck of cards every time we went out. And it was so much fun. We'd go to a bar, we'd sit and have a couple drinks on a Sunday and we'd play gin rummy together. And when that relationship ended, I was so like, who wants to play gin rummy with me? Because <laughs> I loved doing that activity with her. And I mean, it, it didn't work out because we were just not aligned with one another. But I certainly have noticed that couples that stay together are ones that have hobbies together, the ones that do activities together. Think of I Love, oh, now I'm gonna go back to family and friends. Think of I Love Lucy for those of us who are boomers. You know, they had Fred and Ethel as their best friends. When, when you have deep friendships, you become rooted and bonded with your friends and you bond together with each other. That's not always the case, but most of the time. And then ultimately, as I said before, sex. Uh, there's an old saying, men find love through sex. And certainly when a man is intimate with a woman, it's the closest thing to nirvana. It's the closest thing to feeling like you're home. It's the closest thing to feeling safe when you're sexually intimate with a partner as well. So how do we bond? Social activities, hobbies, mutual interests, spending time with family and friends, and, and of course, intimacy as well. Ah, covered a lot there. All right, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this video. Please post a comment below if this resonated with you, if you have something to say. I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Also, if uh, you're new to my channel, please click the subscribe button wherever it's at. I certainly would love to have you join and listen in on these videos that I shoot three or four times a week. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up this video as I always do, giving you a big gigantic, uh, big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug if I have your consent. Ah, uh, thank you. Mm. Wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.